Here it is. We first met the advanced underwater ro robotics class last year when they went searching for missing warplanes. News 10's Alyssa Fenske caught up with them today to see how they're preparing for another historic trip. This is no ordinary school science project. And they're doing things that are hard to expect out of a lot of adults. Managing a huge project, building a robot to go underwater. The students are fully aware that if they find the B-24 bomber they are looking for, they will likely find the crew as well. The lead that we have for the B-24 is very promising. There are side scan sonar targets from Cal Poly and Scripps AUV. So if we do find this ball turret, there's a good chance that there are human remains in it. A forensic anthropologist let the team know in detail what would go on to identify the remains. It's a lengthy process that could take years, but helping families find closure will be the greatest reward. I think it hits close to home in a lot of different ways, being that my grandpa was in World War II, my great-grandpa was in World War II, and also my cousin recently served as a Marine in Afghanistan. This time around, the students have added a few new features to their underwater robot. Um, they've added all new thrusters to provide more power. They've redone the electronics housing, and they've added all new CCON connectors to prevent leaks uh, in the housing itself. We've come up with a new navigation system, and we've come up with a better dive computer. The students are close to their goal of raising $60,000 for the whole trip. They have less than a month before they leave. Raising $60,000 for two years in a row is an incredible feat for a high school team, and we couldn't do it without all of our sponsors' help. In Stockbridge, Alyssa Fenske, News 10. The students still need to raise $5,000 for the trip. They leave on March 21st and will be there for two weeks. The man who inspired the anti-bullying bill, Matt's Law, will be...